Hello and welcome to Team Fight Manager. The Button Masters are currently 3 and 0 and we are preparing for our next big important match. It's probably the biggest one as we want to fulfill the terms of our contract. If we are able to do that, if we win today, we will get $1700 sent our way as well as equipment to start building up our base. And speaking of our base, <laughs> or our facility, excuse me, I've been playing too much Space Engineers. We can get our equipment built up soon when we finish that up. If we would like to improve our facility, which we can do by dropping some money here. In fact, let's go ahead and start adding some training points to four for everybody. And then we want to start looking at possible pickups in the future. I think what we're going to do is probably pick up strategy execution in the future. Uh, and even recruitment titan will be good as well as we will have to find better players in the future for now we do have an extra point we'll continue building that up uni boy has been working on his horseman and archer and both have been strong in general for us uh, i'm gonna go ahead and level up the archer instead of swordsman because the swordsman is so good by itself all right on the schedule we are facing off against the bald bats in terms of analysis let's go ahead and check out what they like to run they pick up the Archer, the Monk, Ninja, and the Knight. Composition that shouldn't be do too well here, but they do ban out the Warriors, so they do have the meta figured out there, so we might need to be ready to adjust against them. Okay, into the match we go! Ladies and gentlemen, round four, best of three series. The Button Masters taking on the Bald Bats. The Button Masters currently are three and zero, looking for their four and zero. Uniboy and Puff have been the main players for them. Bald Bats themselves are looking to tie up the series uh, in the standings as they are currently one and two. So getting a victory for them would be massive for their future hopes and dreams. We will be banning first. We do have the fighter and swordsman available for us, and we have first pick. We want the swordsman, so what we're going to do is ban out one of their favorite picks, which is going to be the ninja. They will take out the shrine maiden. We'll grab the swordsman. And they elect to go for the archer, which means we'll be moving straight into the fighter. A pretty simple draft for us. They followed up with the Monk, which is a stay for them. I'm kind of curious to see how strong the Monk is as a tank slash healer. I assume we'll be running them over. We're going to go ahead and use late ult, as I would like to bounce back and try to continue to keep the aggression up when they're spawning. Here we go. The Button Mashers take on the Bald Bats. The fighter will jump into the front line. You'll see them immediately start trading blows. Raven doing a pretty good job, though, of keeping the heals up. But this is when the Archer is in trouble. She can't kite two members. Swordsman comes in and gives off a couple of slashes. Puff himself also helping out with the kills. Uniboy goes in for another slash. It's going to be a two to two in tying. The fighter will run off across the field immediately here with the help of Puff. And ooh, here goes an early ultimate. The Bald Bats actually taking a lead here. Puff himself running forward. Does a kick. Goes for his own attack. Remember, those ultimates will be late for the button matchers the bald bats do have a uh, heroic available to them yes their heal is available if he would like to use it oh finally a sword slash comes out puff goes for some damage we'll now also look at raven and it looks like he's gonna be too low on health so he won't be using his ultimate yet eight to six in kills is the button mashers here comes puff he steps up boom massive aoe ultimate but raven counters with a heal beautifully done there by the bald bats but will it be enough no it will not ten to six is going to be the final kill set up for the button mashers as they take round number one in the best of three my performance with sorbin was top-notch wasn't it it sure was puff likes to have his ego blown out so we're gonna go ahead and uh you know gas him up in front of the team and he's gonna go ahead and smile up we go forward this time the first pick will be available for the bald bats we want to keep the swordsman out of their hand Pretty much your strategy until we see the next uh, patch. They take away the Tri Maiden. We take out the Swordsman. They elect to pick the Ninja, which means we're going to take the Knight. The Knight is a wonderful counter to the Ninja. They grab the Archer at the same time. Interesting. Well, we can't run any mages because Ninja will eat them. The Monk feels like a possible pick here that could work out for the team. You know what? Let's go ahead and pick him up. So here's the Monk. 
The Monk is a healer with an advanced tank ability. Teaming him up with a champion that has an ultimate which grants an AoE protective shield may work well. He recovers a fixed amount of HP for nearby allies, and whenever he uses ultimate, he casts a shield that increases movement speed to an ally that's within a certain range in the surrounding area. So nice AoE, really good in like three to four mans if you get the chance. All right, we're all locked in here. Uh, we'll put the Knight on Puff as he excels there. Uniboy will be running the Monk. We'll have a lot of healing here. It should be a very low kill game if we play this correctly. We're, we're going to go for an early ultimate as the Knight's ult allows for him to give his team defense. So I want that out as early as possible. Here we go. Bald Bats into the Button Mashers. The Knight steps up and the Ninja will be the main focus here. Uniboy, we'll keep an eye on his little blue bar on his health bar. He's got to make sure that he is on point when it comes to these heals. Do have a Taunt come out? Right on top of Raven, the Knight trying to cut them down. Need Boy stepping forward. It looks like it's going to be a 2-1 to one of the Ball Bats so far. Maybe the damage is just not enough here. Finally, the Aegis will come out. Need Boy stepping forward. Has a heal once again. Gets it at the last second. The Archer will finally be ran down. Ooh, but she kites away with 1 HP. The Ball Bats are up 4-2 to two so far in this match. Uni Boy trying to hold his front line. There we go. Heals continue to come in. There's that Aegis. As will be nice and tanky. 4-4. Four to four. Here comes Maestro with his own ultimate, though, and he shuts down the button mashers without a problem things not looking so good here six to four in total knight finally will spawn and deal with that ninja maester will be the next one up here six to six potentially if they can focus the target down four seconds and county uni boy has a heal they find a kill and they tie it up will it be enough the overtime and no the bald bats are able to find a kill and we are going to a game number three Give me another chance, trust me, I'll make up for the lost. You know what, we believe in Puff, and we'll say we give him another chance. In fact, we care about him so much, we say we are counting on you. Game three. Season on the line. Game number four. Can the button matches pull it off? Same strategy. They would love to get the swordsman. They're going to ban out the ninja. The swordsman is taken out. The Archer will be grabbed here for the Button Mashers. With two tanks available, they don't mind which one they get. Looks like they're going to get the Knight. A durable front line. Fighter and Monk will be the front line here for the Bald Bats. And things are looking tough. Luckily, we have Uniboy with the Archer on a three. He excels there. Puff himself also looking strong too. In terms of ultimates, we're going to go late. No, let's go early once again. Try and get those early kills and hold the lead. Here we go. And welcome to game number three. Do or die for the button matches. So they want to get their sponsorship. The Bald Bats at the same time are trying to get higher in the standings. The front line is holding his best here as he puts out a couple of taunts. But Uni Boy may have to be really put on the damage as the Bald Bats are able to kite down this archer. Uni Boy continuing to do the best that he can here. Maestro finally is going to get picked off. Oh my gosh. Uni Boy stays alive forever. Two to two so far in this fight. Raven runs out and uses an ultimate straight on top of Puff. It's going to be a solo ultimate. And if we win that fight... It's going to be because of that play. Uniboy himself attempting to kite away at the same time. It looks like he may have actually tried to use his ultimate earlier. It's actually on cooldown, which could have been devastating for the button mashers. Puff and Uniboy need to secure these kills. Uniboy attempting to kite away as need be. Puff holding that front line, but the healing might just be a bit too much. And suddenly the bald bats are looking like they might be able to pull off the win here. A taunt comes out and Uniboy, because he did not use his ultimate, is going to cost the button mashers and the bald bats secure the win. A devastating loss for the Button Mashers as they lose their sponsorship hopes. They fall down to the second rank here as the active Albatrosses are going to move up. And we have a beautiful two-way tie for first place. Congratulations to Ball Bats for the victory. We'll see you next week to see how the Button Mashers can bounce back from this.